Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. All right, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at what do you need to know right now in regards to love. All right, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They may not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what does Leo need to know right now in regards to love. Three shuffles, that was number two. And three. Keep in mind, all the cards are upright before I start shuffling. All right, what does, Leo, what does Leo need to know right now in regards to love? Leo, Leo. All right, we have the Nine of Cups here. We also have Page of Wands in reverse. And interesting, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Man, you're, you're very focused on yourself, Leo, with the Nine of Cups. It feels like you're, you're shutting everything and everyone out. With the Page of Wands in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse. You're shutting everything and everyone out. You're all about what's going to make you happy, what's going to make you feel good. What's in your best interest? Yeah, you're in this energy of it's time to focus on me. It's time to put myself first and not care and not care about anything else. Like it's time to be selfish, you know, but in a good way, not in a bad way. Okay, I want to I want to look into that energy actually. At least I think it's in a good way. Let's clarify the 9 of cups. Spirit, tell me about the 9 of cups. Connected to Leo. All right, so we have here the Hermit in reverse. Wow, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yep, yep, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, so same message. Again, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is all about you feeling like it's me, me, myself, and I now. You know, it just kind of looks like with the Nine of Wands in reverse, um, you weren't putting yourself first for a long time. You weren't putting yourself first for a long time. Or you spent a long time not putting yourself first. And I feel like you're tired already. You're tired of that. You're drained. You're exhausted. <clears throat> you just really need to, sorry, you just, you really want to find yourself again, I feel like you really want to, you want, you really want to reconnect with yourself and, and just feel good, you know, feel good in your own energy, feel happy, feel stable without any external influences, you know, hurting you anymore. Because this is an energy of pain, the Nine of Wands. This is the energy, this is the wounded warrior. So it does look like you've, you've had your fair share of pain and, and heartbreak and disappointment. And I feel like you're just tired of it. I feel like you're tired of it. I feel like you want to just 
you know, live in your own bubble, live in your own world and be happy and, and stop letting external factors and external, external influences continue to, to harm you and, and upset you, you know, and, and drain you. Okay, I get that. So whoever it is that you're um, dealing with in love or whoever, whoever it is that you were dealing with in love, it looks like you're not interested in that anymore. It looks like you're interested in just um, protecting your space, protecting your personal space and protecting your energy and, and keeping to yourself. I think I want to break this down a little bit more because um, I feel like I'm still not connecting to you. So I just want to break it down here um, a little bit more. What can you... Yeah, we also have the hermit. Okay, this is good. I like this. Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse is kind of like um, you're finding the solutions to your problems within your own self. You're no longer looking for solutions outside of yourself. You're looking, you're looking and finding solutions within your own self. Like you're answering your own questions now. Yeah, you're connecting to your wisdom, you know, to, to the wisdom within your own self, you know. Connecting to your wisdom, connecting to your, your inner guidance, your inner voice. It's almost like you're connecting to your heart chakra. You know, if you know what that means. your heart, your soul, what makes you, you. So uh, let me break it down just a little bit more. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, what can you tell me about the Nine of Pentacles? Actually, maybe the Hermit too. Yeah, cause you have you're a little bit tough to read, Leo, because I do feel like you have a little bit of a an outer shell here. You have an outer shell, like, and I do feel like it's because you're very hyper focused on on protecting your energy, basically. You know, you're very hyper focused and hyper concentrated on on protecting your space and your energy. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, Empress in reverse. Yeah, this is the energy of vulnerability. All right, I got it. Mm -hmm. Man, somebody hurt your self-confidence. Somebody definitely, that's sad. That is sad. Especially if it's a Leo, you know, Leos are the most kind of confident sign of the Zodiac. Mm. That's painful. I definitely feel like someone hurt your self-confidence and your, your sense of self-worth, but I feel like that's what you're currently recuperating and recovering. Yeah, like I said, there was definitely a situation here that... Um, that drained you mentally, emotionally, and it definitely hurt your, um, I want to say like your dignity. I feel like it feels like it hurt your dignity or your sense of self-worth. That's okay, though. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? So... 
I feel like, but I feel like you're not though. I don't feel like you're being hard on yourself. Just a little bit, you know, I mean, you might have a little bit of um, anger deep down inside in regards to why did I allow this to happen? You know, why did I let this person do this to me? Or, you know, why didn't I leave sooner? You know, it's that type of energy. Why didn't I take action sooner? All right. But I feel like, you know, it was just a, some sort of lesson that you had to go through, that you had to learn. And I feel like that's what's happening right now. Like you're learning the lesson and you're, um, you're using this experience and you're, um, You're taking this experience and you're using it to your advantage um, to, to, to make you stronger, to make you wiser. Yeah, you're slowly re recuperating your strength and your, your sense of self-worth. You're slowly recovering from that, from that damage. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're so hyper focused on like, you know, keeping your distance from situations that don't serve you anymore because you you really want to focus on your healing here. That's good. All right. What else? I'm going to move on. Spirit, what else does um, Leo need to know in regards to love? What does Leo need to know right now in regards to love? What else can you tell me? So we have, oh, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Some of you are going to be experiencing new love. But you know, this also can represent self-love. And I feel like that this is something that you're practicing right now. You're practicing self-love, which is really good. Tell me more, Spirit. What does Leo need to know right now in regards to love? Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. Oh, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you will be experiencing new love. All right. Yeah, you will. Doesn't look like that's something that's happening for you right now. Or maybe it is. Yeah. Some of you are connecting to someone new. But if you're not connecting to someone new right now, some of you are very soon going to connect to someone new. There's a new opportunity that's going to enter your life here in regards to love. Okay. Tell me about this. Um, what do I want to see? Do I want to see the... Yeah, let's see the Ace of Cups. Let's go with it. Tell me about this Ace of Cups spirit. What can you tell me about this Ace of Cups? Ooh, this is good. Death? I like this. Hmm. A big change. Death can represent a big change, a big transformation. This can also represent you leaving, leaving behind the past and stepping into a new chapter here. What else can you tell me about the Ace of Cups? The Tower in Reverse. Ooh, yikes. Okay. The past is definitely, you know... I feel like the past is going to test you a little bit. And also we have Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like the past is going to t um, tempt you, test you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me see what this page is doing here. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. 
The King of Pentacles, I see. Tell me more about this Page of Swords in Reverse. Ace of Wands. And, okay, the Knight of Cups. I, I don't know about this, though. I don't, I'm not, I don't like it. I don't feel good with this energy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I trust this person here. Tell me about, this almost feels like a past person. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Oh, the Sun in Reverse. Yep, yeah, I got it. I definitely got it. Yep. Yeah. This is why, you see, I told you, that I don't know if you heard me right now. I just said right now, it, I don't feel good about this person. Something doesn't feel good about this King of Pentacles. You see, when I clarified, we have the sun in reverse, which is basically that energy of, you know, feeling like something's not right. Feeling like something's off. So this person um, that's coming toward you, they lost you because the sun card represents Leo. Um, and it's in reverse, which means they lost you. And they've been watching you. They've been watching you, stalking you, keeping tabs on you with the Page of Swords. Um, and I do see that coming up. This person is going to take action in your direction um, to try to recover their relationship with you. To try to reconcile with you with the Ten of Cups. That's what they want. They want to reconcile with you. Um, and it's confirmed here because you are showing up as Queen of Wands in reverse with the Tower in reverse, which is a past situation returning back to your life. Yeah, this person's coming toward you with a big fat apology is also what I'm getting. They're coming toward you with a big fat apology. They're coming toward you to like... Um, make things right with you, make amends with you. Um, they definitely want to start over with you. Like they, they want to have a brand new beginning with you. They don't want to think about the past. You know, they just kind of want to erase the past, whatever happened between the two of you. They just want to lay it, you know, lay it to rest. You know, it is what it is. You know, I made mistakes, you made mistakes, you know, we both weren't perfect, you know, let's just accept it and let's just, you know, move on from it and, and start over again. I might take a look at this person's intentions just to make sure. Let's take a deep uh, at their intentions deep down inside. Spare, what are this person's intentions towards Leo deep down inside? Their true and real intentions? What is this person truly wanting with Leo? So we do have the three of wands. I am getting it, I am getting the energy of um, they miss you. That's why they're showing up. They really miss you. They really miss the, the connection that they used to have with you. The contact that they used to have with you. They can't stop thinking about you. They miss you. Tell me more. What are this person's true and real intentions with Leo? Five of Swords in reverse. They also feel guilty. They, they're carrying a good... They're carrying a guilty conscience. And we have the two of cups. Yeah, they're really missing the connection that you two used to have with each other. And they feel really guilty for, for sabotaging that connection or, or that relationship that they used to, that they used to have with you. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I still don't like it, Leo, because... I mean, they are apologizing, but I feel like a, I feel like this person's hiding something. Let me just look at the sun. Um, 
Tell me about tell me about the sun in reverse connected to this person. They're definitely keeping secrets. There's the, there's definitely something that, you know, they feel like Leo doesn't need to know all, uh, about all of that. Leo doesn't need to know about all of that. Let's just keep that a secret. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Two of swords. Oh, okay. I got it. Two of pentacles. I got it. And the five of cups. Mm -hmm. All right. I got it. This is what it is. So this is, this is what it is. This person, they were, it's like they were juggling you, basically. They were juggling you with somebody else, with someone else. Yes. It could be someone else or like they were juggling you with um, like an external. There was an external factor here. You know what it is? It's like they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it wasn't. That's basically what happened here. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They took a gamble. They took a chance. And they failed miserably. And that's why they're, gonna, they're going to come towards you. They're going to come back towards you to try to make amends with you and fix things with you. Because they took a gamble on the other side and... They feel really foolish because it's almost like this person got played. Yeah, this person got played. Somehow, some way, this person got played. This person got hoodwinked. They did. It, it, almost like they got scammed. They got scammed. They thought the other side was rainbows and ponies and, you know, it ended up being absolutely... Um, a nightmare, basically. They thought this other option was rainbows and ponies, and it ended and it ended up being a, an absolute nightmare. And they're feeling pretty um, foolish and humiliated, um, played. But that's what they don't want you to know about. That's what they're basically saying here. Leo doesn't need to know about all of that. You know, let's just forget about that. Let's forget that ever happened. You know, that's what they're telling to themselves. Let's forget that ever happened. Let's forget that, you know, I ever made that decision. And, you know, they're coming back towards you to try to like, fix things with you to, and they're definitely going to tell you that they've changed, that, you know, they're sorry for everything and that, you know, they're ready to like take things seriously with you now. All right. So yeah, that's, that's the T. That's the T with this person. I'm just questioning their um, their authenticity, like their genuineness. I'm questioning that a little bit. So I think I would just want to look into the future a little bit further up ahead into the future just to see how is this going to play out. Because I just feel like, yes, they do feel embarrassed and humiliated and they feel like, you know, they made a terrible mistake by walking away from you, Leo, or by, you know, choosing some other option over you. But I feel like this person, I don't feel like they've really learned their lesson, you know? I feel like this person is is coming back towards you, like, for the wrong reasons. Like, they're coming back towards you because they, they made a bad decision. You know, I don't feel like this person is coming towards you for you. 
if that makes sense. They're coming towards you because the only other option that they had is screwed. It's gone. It's out of the picture. So now they're, now they're resorting to, to you, which is their other option, you know? So I just don't feel like they're coming towards you for the right reasons at all, if that makes sense. Okay, how, are, um, how is this going to play out? Spirit between Leo and this person. What's going to be happening here between Leo and this person moving forward? How are things going to play out? So we have the moon. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the chariot in reverse. The moon, the ace of pentacles, and the chariot in reverse is how things are going to play out. Hmm. Let me see a little bit more, Spirit. Tell me a little bit more. Hmm. Um, three of Swords in reverse with the Emperor. With the Five of Wands. Okay, I see. Hmm. Uh, I'm not. You, do you see what I'm telling you, Leo? Look at this Emperor and the and the Moon card. Look at this. This person's like. Um, this person has a, a a dark side. You know. This person has a dark side that gets triggered when things don't go their way. They're very emotionally impulsive and emotionally, you know, reckless. And, and they're very nice and sweet with this, this King of Pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but they're very nice and sweet as long as things are going their way. You know, they're very down to earth and, you know, very like pleasant to be with and, you know, very charismatic and charming and sweet. But the minute things don't go their way, it's like they become a different person. That's when their true self comes out, you know, that's where where their narcissism really gets revealed, you know. They don't like things not going their way. They're very, very um, possessive and controlling, but they do a really good job at hiding it, you know, with the King of Pentacles here. So in regards to how are things going to play out, we do have the Five of Wands, which means that things are not going their way. This person's coming back toward you, you know, with the objective of reconciling with you and things are not going their way. That's why we have the five of wands and they're getting triggered. Their ugly side is, is getting triggered. It's coming up. It's coming out. So I'm guessing I'm, I'm not, I don't see your energy here, but because of how this person is reacting, I'm guessing that you're not following along with this person with what they want. Let me see if I can confirm that. What is um, Leo doing, Spirit? What actions is Leo taking? What response is Leo giving this person? Okay, so we do have the lovers. We also have, ooh, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Tell me more. And <laughs> wow, judgment. Amazing. So this is cool. This is pretty cool. This is pretty like badass. Yeah, this is pretty badass on, on your end, Leo. So with the lovers um, and judgment, this is all about making a choice, 
um, making a decision. Ace of Swords is also about making a decision, but Ace of Swords is a very cutting energy. It's a very, you know, cold, cutting, blunt energy. So it just kind of looks like you are making the decision to... To cut this person out of your life or to continue continue with your boundaries, with the boundaries that you had already um, put up with this person. Um, yeah, I feel like you're deciding to continue um, keeping to yourself and keeping this person at a distance from you. All right, I wanna I wanna just kind of get a little bit of more detail there. Just wanna see a little bit more detail about what you're doing here. Hmm. Let's take a look at that judgment spirit, please. Tell me about this judgment card. Uh, connected to Leo. King of Swords, oh, I see. Yep, Eight of Cups and Justice in Reverse. Damn, the audacity of this person. Look at this. This person has some nerve. Look at that energy. This is their true identity. This is not the identity that they came towards you with. They totally came towards you with, an, with a disguise, with the King of Pentacles disguise. That's not who they really are. This person definitely was manipulating you. What's amazing is that you saw right through it. So good job, Leo. Or you're going to see right through it, okay? Okay, so for some of you, this is, um, this is what's going to happen. That's, this is what's going to be happening. This is, what's, this is how things are going to play out. I'm definitely impressed how you saw right through this person. I'm curious how you did it, though, because I, I don't see that. But, yeah, it just kind of looks like you're going to see right through them and you're going to send them back from where they came from. You're going to send them back from where they came from. Um, let me see if I can look into that. Why is Leo making this decision? What's causing Leo to make this decision? towards this person, with this person. The Three of Pentacles, what does that mean? What do you mean Three of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles. Something this person said to you that really stuck in your mind. Uh, tell me more, Spirit. What do you mean by the Three of Pentacles? Why is Leo making this decision with this person? This final decision? The King of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you know what it is, Leo? I just feel like um, you already tried to work things out with this person, with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. It feels like you already tried to work things out with them. You, you, you already tried to like um, be a team player with this person. You already tried to make things work here between you and this person and this person just really betrayed your trust and you've had enough it just feels like you've had enough or like you've seen enough you've seen enough to know that this is not someone who you can trust um hmm. You do have the nine of wands and the queen.
Queen of Wands in reverse, but why is the Queen of Wands in reverse, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Cups here? Okay, this is what you're leaving behind. I got it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, star in reverse. All right, so this is this is the old you. All right, that's what's happening here. Like this is this was the old you, the person that they were connecting to. That person doesn't exist anymore. You, you've you've transformed with the death card, and what's happening here is that you don't resonate with them anymore. With this this king of cups, this emotional resonance between two people, that it doesn't exist anymore. You don't feel that emo. Oh, so you're not attracted to them anymore. Yeah. You just don't find them attractive anymore. And you don't resonate with them anymore. On top of that, your feelings have changed. It kind of looks like now they were really, they might have been attractive before, before they were attractive, but now they kind of look ugly, you know? Now that you've seen this person's like true colors, like they seem a little bit ugly to you. They're not, they're not very appealing anymore, if that makes sense. So that's why you're, um, you're easily sending this person back from where they came from. You're doing it with ease, with ease, because you just don't find them appealing anymore. You know? They lost their magic. They lost their charm, you know, in your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Leo. So that's what I see happening here. So I hope this reading made sense to you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.